I'm gonna go crack of the stupid way from 7190 and the Buckhorn Spring Trail, so. It's pretty shaded. The elevation is pretty gnarly too, so. Expect a little workout to the saddle. So I've gotten to the section where the trail spits off to Buckhorn Spring. I think that's what it is, or Buckhart Trail Spring. And that takes you up to 7190 the stupid way. That's the saddle we're gonna go check out to look up Cracka the stupid way. And we're gonna try to do Cracka. Been here a couple times, so definitely shouldn't get lost. I got like about two hours of daylight, so hour up, hour down. Got my flashlight, so it should not be an issue here. Here's some ruins. What looks probably, probably the old ski lifts. Take you to 7190 that does with the Buckhorn Ski Club. But uh, beautiful here. But uh, it's beautiful here. There's a little illegal fire ring somewhere next to me here. Take some pictures. There's a Wilner's boundary here. And God, this sucks already. There's a faint little use trail here. I don't know if you guys can see it. And girls. And um, looks a little sketch. Definitely not gonna come back down this way if it's dark. This is my view from behind me going up crack of the stupid way. It's beautiful here. Lots of trees and some shade. It is warm today. Trail goes this way, but it also looks like it goes this way. GPS says I'm on track and I came back, came up some trail from down here. Check out this view. Waterman and all that delicious, beautiful views here. I'm tired and nervous. A little bit of where I am. Dumbass. See hiker adventures, middle of nowhere, freaking myself out, strange noises, almost to my peak. A little bit of where I'm at, being stupid, and taking the stupid way up to Kraka, so I can say I've conquered it from all angles. I'm gonna keep going. Look how beautiful Triple Rocks looks from here. That valley down there looks absolutely stunning. I think that's uh, Smith Mountain, all the way down there. That's Bear Canyon. It's beautiful. I think I'm already at the height of 7091, or 7097. I think that's what it's called. And this is a beautiful view. I made it to the, I think, fifth wilderness boundary marker. But one thing for sure, Crack of this side is beautiful. Lots of trees and shaded, so it's not that bad with the sun on my back. So I'm at the top. I'm looking to see if there's a way down to the volcano, which is straight ahead of me, but it doesn't look like it at all. It looks too dangerous. That's Kraka, so I'm pretty much there already. It's beautiful here. The hike got significantly easier because now I'm just going down. And these are my beautiful views. Highly recommend coming up this way. Because it looks like it just goes down now. But uh, I'm going to go and be careful and make sure I don't slide down. I'm much higher than 7190 I believe it is. 7097, one of those. It's beautiful here. I got plenty of daylight, so definitely not gonna come back the way I came. I'm gonna go back down this way. Yeah, definitely. That's uh, Kraka right in front of me here, so I made the top, and then I'm gonna go to the abandoned, what's called the uh, ski lift. All right, so I made it to the top here, Kraka. I'm dead tired, I'm not gonna lie. I came from a stupid way. I don't think I'm ever gonna do it that way again. All right. It's beautiful here though, it's sunset, so I hike. Oh man, I'm tired. 
and check out the views over here. Still got plenty of daylight, but I do not want to walk or hike this in the dark. Jog it or anything. So I'm going to head back already. And uh, it's beautiful here. See where I can set up hammock maybe, or even a tent. I think you can set up a tent right here. Get an awesome sunset and sunrise. It's a beautiful view here. All right, we're gonna keep going now. Old abandoned crack of ski lifts. It's a beautiful little lifts. I don't think it's been functioning since the 70s. Check it out right here. These are the ski lifts. Or at least what's left of them. Let's go look at the views from over here. Each time I come, it looks more and more beat up. Never noticed that potty there. So it looks like there's a little fire ring here. And that used to be in there, but it's no longer in there. And there's a cool little table. I guess we're picnicking. You can set up a tent there. Even there. But you'll probably get a lot of wind over here. You could also set a tent right there. Anyways, uh, I'm going to see if there's space for a hammock. For a hammock campers, but right here, definitely not. Looks like these trees are just close enough to hammock camp. I don't know if you could even see this tree right here. It's so dark. But it looks like it's just close enough. So this section takes you to uh, the Vista uh, picnic area and uh, takes you all the way down there and this comes up from I think a private residence. I'm going to go down this way and hopefully they're okay with it and they don't shoot me or anything. I guess this used to be part of the old ski lift, Kraka. This is where the old one used to be at. Or the ski lifts that lead you up to Kraka. I don't know if they're working. I've never seen them running. It's all messed up there. And the ski lift. All the neighboring pallet and whatnot. I have no idea what this is. At least not from here. Maybe we'll we'll throw. This beautiful ass area. Some leftover stuff, I guess, from the old ski. The road's below me, so I'm not too far from my car. And this seems to keep going, so I'm gonna check it out. If not, I'll just jump down. Well, it looks like it's starting to go back up, so I'm actually gonna cut across down to the road, down this way, and walk my way back because this is going back up. Made it safely back to the road. Hopefully, I'm not too far from my car and easy hike back got plenty of daylight and check the time